What's up guys? Just finished my workout again, um, number two of the new year. Uh, what I did today was um, abs, calves, um, deltoids, um, biceps and tries. I uh, did five fives on it again on pretty much most of them. Um, I did a few warm up sets on like the lateral raise and, and the front raise and stuff like that, a, a bit of mobility work. Uh, today, workout, it wasn't very good. My uh, my daughter's not very well, so she was up all night screaming. So I've had about three hours sleep, you know, broken as well. Um, f f my first meal as well, that uh, just felt sick, so I didn't really want it. I had to pretty much force it down me. Um, again, the videos gonna of me working out are gonna be after this video. Um, guys, again, like and subscribe for me, be a big help, and I'll see you again. All right, guys, here well, what I'm doing is um. Some sit-ups, I have warmed up before I started using the weight. Um, I like to do a heavy day uh, on my abs, which is today. Um, on the next day um, that I do stuff like abs, I'll do a light day, but more control. Yep, <clears throat> so like I said, I did warm up. Um, I'm doing um, a 10 kilogram weight now. I'm doing about 10 auto failure. On the wood choppers, I place my foot on a box to um, stop my hips moving as much. Um, I do change the weights through, through the sets at each one, um, and I generally go off feel here after failure.
as you can see by that last set, um, I started feeling a little bit more on, on the obliques, which is always a good thing. I do like to feel my size as I'm going through the movement, just to make sure they are contracting as well. Um, there's no point doing the movement if you're not contracting. Um, and that's why I do feel my sides. It just look, look a bit weird. But that's why I do it. Alright guys, um, on the face pulls, what I'll, 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 I generally go off uh, feel again, um, I do alternate just above my head, to my nose, to my chin, um, <clears throat> yeah again, it's about feel, it's, to, um, it's mainly for um, my rear delts with a bit of uh, rotators in there as well. I do place my hands on the, on the rear delts just to make sure I could feel them contracting again. Like I said, if you, if you were just doing a movement for no reason or you can't feel it, then you need to change something up. I do, I do like the external rotation on the, um, on the shoulders because it works on one of the, the muscles. I think it's a teres, a major or minor, or maybe both. It works as an external rotator. And after I've done that, I like to do a one arm pull. Um, as you can see, I'm, my hands are on the rear delts just to make sure I can really feel it. And I, I go over and I go under the my armpits just to make sure I'm definitely feeling it. I will probably get a little bit of rhomboids, a bit of uh, traps in there as well, but like I said, it's mainly for the rear delts. It is an area I'm definitely lacking. Um, I've only recently started training it, probably about six months ago. Um, kind of. Um, on the, if you can't see it, it doesn't matter kind of thing. Not to a really bad extent, but yeah. On the cable machine, the cable machine is a really good one because this machine that I'm using is like a power mode, which is, keeps constant tension on it so it is like with with cables you can generally lose a lot of um, a lot of tension through them but with the power mode on this on this uh, machine here keeps uh, constant weight on it so if it was five kilograms it'd keep five kilograms on the top to the bottom um yeah it's this is more for power movement to get to really build them up i kind of did a five five on this one um, I, I like this one i really do
Then what I do is I go into the lateral raises again on the same machine. Um, I point the pinky finger up on a lot of them. I am going through like the weights as well, so I'm, I start at the bottom just to make sure I'm definitely warm on them. Um, I go front and I go behind. You can see my pinky fingers up at the minute. Again, I'm feeling the side of the delt and I'm feeling myself feel for no reason. I want to make sure it's actually working, which generally does. And it's a bit of habit as well. As well, I'm getting a lot of interaction by a lot of other um, gym goers. It's the first time I've seen a camera like this. Um, I'm using a Canon with a tripod, so it, and like I said, um, the gym I'm in, I've never seen them use cameras before, so it's kind of like a monkey of a new trick. So now I'm, I'm on to my heavy, heavy sets now. Um, I'm using 20 kilograms here. Yeah, the technique's not exactly great, but it's more about just moving the weight for the power. Um, yeah, it looks the, the angle that it's at the minute is absolutely horrible. But like I'm doing some weird sort of similar other, but I am doing it pretty decent. Like it could be a hell of a lot better, but it's not. It's not. Right, and then I go on to the front raise, um, on to, yeah, the shoulder press. And this is not a bit of doing the work now behind the head, really attracting the, the, the scapula, coming back over, really squeezing the shoulders down. I, I do this just to, like I said, just to warm the front of the delts. Yeah, I've done a lot of uh, delt work. They are really warm, but it's just to make off. I go on to um, the shoulder press with 70kg on. Um, what I've been doing over the last few weeks, I've been going up in two and a half kilograms and today, like I said, was a really bad day. I was really tired, my daughter didn't sleep very well. Normally I do five fives, but I've got about three out, three, or five, three um, reps of five sets, um, and it was bloody heavy, absolutely heavy.
So, what what's not shown in the video, I, I like to warm my biceps and triceps up doing like curls and extensions and whatnot. Then I go on to the dips. Like I said, I'm still warming up on the dips. Um, and then I go straight onto a 50 kilogram um, dip. Now, I, I only got to where my feet touch the floor. I do a little bit of a bounce, it's very, very minimalistic. Um, and I try and go down as slow as I can. But, but, and let my ego do a little bit more than what I normally would. Like I said, it's try to get a little bit more strength in there. And then I go on to the biceps, um, bicep curls. I do like a close and a, and a neutral grip. Um, to a fairly close grip, I'm really strong at it's next to nothing for the weight. Alright guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, bit of a voiceover, um, it's a little bit different to my last video, but yeah, remember to like and subscribe guys, and I'll see you again.